Hello. Hi, welcome back. It's officially schedule time again. Kinda. <laughs> um, wow, I'm so sorry the stream is so late right now. Um, I really, honestly, I truly mean it when I say uh, I I did not intend to wait wait this long to stream tonight. Um, I took a nap at around like 2 p.m. I know it's like that's literally like it's my fucking ultimate folly. Um, but I was like, I'll 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 take a nap at like 2 p.m. I'll wake up at four. Um, but here but here's the thing: it's not the usual issue where I like I I I turned off the alarm. No. The alarm didn't even fucking go off. Like, truly and honestly, I, I had I had nothing, and like I didn't tell Joy that I wanted to wake up at four, so she didn't know, and so like no, like nobody and nothing was around to wake me up at four p.m. I was fucking betrayed, and so imagine how I feel. When I open my eyes, I've been unconscious for God knows how long. It's 9 p.m. It's completely dark outside. And I'm like, uh-oh. I'm like, wait, is it? I was like, wait, what? Literally just that feeling of like, uh, where am I? <laughs> like, where am I? What time is it? Am I supposed to be waking up right now? Am I not like it's it's that brief moment of like reorientation that your brain does after a nap, except that much more disorienting because I had to think for a moment. I was like, wait, no, wait, I wait. I was supposed to wake up at four <laughs> and then and then, oh, man. So yeah, I I made a big I made a big tweet where I was like, "Holy fucking shit." I was like, "Alan Wake is still Alan Wake is still happening soon. I'm so sorry." My I and I said my alarm didn't go off. That's right. I said my uh, I typed out my alarm didn't go off. So you can um, that that should be a proper representation of the fucking panicked state I was in. Uh, trying to get up and 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 go and like get ready <laughs> for stream. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I if all yeah. So all that to say, indeed. If only Alan was there and he could have waked me up in time. But he wasn't. Nobody was, and so here I am, ten forty seven p.m. Eastern Time, uh, October 18th, 2022. I am going to play more Alan Wake Remastered, although given it's so late now, I don't know how long this stream is going to be. I wanted this to... God, I'm so frustrated, because I wanted this to be like... Because last time I played Alan Wake, we only played for a couple hours, and I was like, oh, I'll try to go longer last time, or I'll try to go longer next time. Um, But like... Just not, it's, it, I guess, maybe not. We'll see. Um, so, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna play as, I'm gonna play as much as I feel like tonight. Uh, I, I might be a little more out of it. Mainly just because, like, whenever I, whenever I wake up in such a fucking, like, panic like that, um, it definitely, admittedly, <laughs> like, it puts a damper on my, on my, on my mental state. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but either way, I, I am excited to play more Alan Wake. Um, I might just go ahead and get into it. This might be one, this might be a shorter, a shorter intro, because I kind of want, I want to make up for lost time a little bit, and just kind of, like, get into it. Um, yeah, let's, uh, okay, gamers and leftists, let's get back into Alan Woke. So, I don't really, I don't remember what happened, <laughs> but I do know that my health will slowly recharge if I stop taking damage. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. What if I... Hmm. 
no, I don't want I don't want to like reset my progress by starting a new episode. I was just like I remember there's like an episode summary at the beginning of the episode, but like <laughs> not if you re like not if you start it later. That's weird. Wait, let's do Wait, there's only Oh, oh, I was going to say there's only two episodes. That's cuz the that's the only two ones we've unlocked. That is the start of episode two. No, I no, I know that's the start of the episode. It's just that there is, there's a summary at the beginning before you get into the game that I want to rewatch if I can. Extras playback. Yes. Haha. -ha. There we go. There we go. Alan Wake. I came to Bright Falls with my wife Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Okay. I guess that's... That's all they really consider it necessary to know. That's pretty simple. I do remember... Hey, I'm home. I, like, I briefly, I think, remember a couple... Worst weather I've ever seen. Worst weather I've ever seen. It'll warm you up. Oh, man. My... Y'all, my faculties are not here today. <laughs> this is gonna be the... Oh, man. All right, let's go. The turn... You want coffee? Does anybody on. want coffee? Thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. There's no water in there. There's supposed to be water in there. You just you just pressed a button on an empty coffee machine. <laughs> hey babe, coffee's on. <laughs> She's gonna come in here like 30 minutes later. Like, um, didn't you say you made coffee? I did. It's on. No, the coffee is made out of coffee. You don't need water. Oh, that makes sense. It's one of those cool new waterless coffees. Oh, I should Oh, I should make myself a coffee right now. Why didn't I do that before? This is a nice fucking apartment. You're telling me this dude's a writer? <laughs> There's something's up here. His wife must be a fucking astronaut. And he's... Oh, yeah, no, you're right. He's the most famous... Oh! That was awful. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about the weird flashing monitor, if anyone else saw that. Flashing lights warning. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's just Alan... That's just Alan Wake remastered for you, baby. How did that happen? Ooh, oh, I hate that. Why is that? That's not normal. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Oh, they fucked! Oh, wow! What a hell... <laughs> what, an act what a healthy and active relationship. I sure hope nothing goes wrong. Is this my room? That's, that's like the that's like the most that's like the least natural conversation about sexual activity I've ever heard in my life. They did have coitus. Return to sender. What I can't forget. Alex Casey. An Alex Casey thriller. Dude. You're washed up, man. It's the worst book title I've ever heard in my life. These look really good. <laughs> oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh. Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! 
Now would be a great time to read my manuscript. This was a late goodbye. Thir Wait, hold on. Did it's it's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. I've never heard femme fatale pronounced like that. Also, why is it a different voice? That's Max Payne? I wonder why. Is it, is, it, is it just because this is the book he was actually writing? This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood. This is the book about. No this is Max Payne? <laughs> oh, shit. Dissolved all the scattered. Pain Yo, Remedy is on some crazy shit with so this shared with the universe. Of the city. I love it. Coming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. I, I love how much they enjoy writing for their own extended universe. I think that's genuinely so cool. Whoa! I really don't like this I'm right balance. here, baby. Please hurry. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Just get the lights back on now, please. Really? Because <laughs> literally a second ago, <laughs> I really don't like this, Alan. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, you're, I'm here. I really need those lights on. I was, I was investigating the weirdly lit paper. It looks like it's kind of glowing. It looks like a pick up a bowl. I thought it was maybe a pick up a bowl that I had missed. Oh, you don't want me to miss any pick up a bowls, do you? I'm, I want a divorce. Honey, it's a power outage. I, I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for oh, it. Oh you know, man, it gets to me. Oh, I thought I thought that was a voiceover, and they were doing Tell coitus story, again. Writer. Okay. <clears throat> the I fuck is a story writer? When I was a kid. The dark oh, that's me. Me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, <gasps> huh? Bum, yeah. bum, 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 bum. Dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. <laughs> Even if you are a liar. I'm actually not... I'm not kidding. Yes. That's It's actually a very important story to me. <laughs> you... Fucking liar! You don't even love me, do you? I I never said that. I, I I'm just sharing a a nice story from my childhood. I don't know what exactly was unbelievable about that for you. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any <laughs> nausea, disorientation, anything like that, Mr. Wake? How are you feeling? I feel more waked up than I've ever felt. I'm okay. My head's fine. And it's I Mr. Had to Woke. About my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Wake. Yeah? If you experience a symptom of your third-person camera moving left and right incessantly. 
<laughs> that means it's fatal. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. He interrupted my bit. Mm. That's that's one thing about this game. It, it interrupts my bits a lot. I don't know if I can abide by that. Clearly, anything that I have, any any stupid shit that I have to say is infinitely more. Why is there a giant dog on the thing? <laughs> yeah, it's a dog. <laughs> Why? Who put this here? I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. <laughs> Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury Stop. of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be <laughs> the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things. They, wow, they have so much to say, huh? Right in where I <laughs> As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? <laughs> they give me so much time to do that bit where I just fucking walk away. Have you seen this man? Identifying features knack for winning contests. Huh? Are those the try guys? <laughs> That's the try guys. <laughs> I can't be trip over do has Mega. Wait, oh my god. Yo. Alan Wake Easter egg. They just fucking government assigned the fourth the new fourth try guy. Look at that. It's the guy <laughs> It's the guy who who tries a lot of contests. He wins a lot because he tries so many of them. On a camping trip, overdue, haven't been in contact. If you've seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. Thank you. Very enthusiastic about the idea. <sighs> ah. hmm. Didn't I just come from here? Wait. That's the, sh that's the sheriff. This is the meeting room. Oh, this is where... Okay. I thought I was doing a weird, like... The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Shut up. I have to grab... Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. <clears throat> right, Stucky, Stucky was the name I was trying to remember earlier. Oh, it's another page in the paper. Uh-oh. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Wait, so like... Holy shit, that actually kind of... That, that, that confirms, I think, that... The bushes in the forest, like constantly triggering you're like is that a is that a shadow is that a person uh sheriff 
Baker is waiting for you down the corridor like in the office. That feels inten that feels extra intentional now. Which is super cool. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. You Your phone, Mr. Wake? Sorry, it's it's just uh Mr. Wake, pick up your phone. You... Did you... Make sure you don't forget your phone. Did you delete Flappy Bird? My... This can't be my phone. My phone had Flappy Bird on it. <sighs> Mr. Wake, you deleted... Phone, Wake. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas Whoa. <laughs> I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back <laughs> lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wade, can I Don't help do you with anything? Don't stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Oh, God, I'm losing my mind. Oh, my God, okay. Oh. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Damn. This is the perfect game to play when just waking up. Yeah, for sure. I, I definitely... I my eyes oh, and my God. My headache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Like, I... Obviously, I'm really enjoying this game so far. It is so difficult to nearly impossible to commentate for me, especially right now. Um, Like, goddamn. Like, the tuning on how much auto dialogue plays is told me to find a hole in the fence really the overwhelming station. there was something for me in an abandoned car Woo. Oh, up we go <laughs> oh shit he's got the strongest legs in the midwest Remedy games always have so much talking. Control didn't have nearly as much. Then again, we are still pretty early in the game, so maybe, you know, it'll get to a point where it dies down. The but the structure of the game... Last time, uh, and the shadow sorry, hold on. The structure of the game seems really built around, like, its narration and the kind of, like, back and forth of all the character dialogue, so I'm... I doubt it? The kidnapper fired his gun one last time. And the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? But then I said it really funny as if I was doing a Borat reference. The creature laughed. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The <laughs> car meant business. I started monkeying around the top of the abandoned car just to see what it felt like. It felt good. It felt like a kid again. I should do this more often, I thought. Barry? For a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell 
was going. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Sheriff, let me go. Sheriff, uh, can I leave? I have a tummy ache. Ugh. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves uh -huh. a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. God damn it, I told them never to air this. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff... What? <laughs> are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying. Hank, so I am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? For its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? <laughs> I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. <laughs> what the fuck? Take it easy. The hell? Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who Alan is such a I'm dick, Alan man. Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. My offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. What do you think the thing with the paparazzi was? I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, <laughs> no was pants. not for him. Got it. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place He was being too Mother's silly and or goofy. <laughs> the plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. He's talking about how I met your mother. <laughs> Him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. I'm higher than you. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Hey, Barry, what have you, you seen Alice around here? How the fuck? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, have, like, have you seen Alice lately? <laughs> Because I sure as hell haven't. I can tell you that much. I gotta talk to Rusty. Hey, Barry. Yeah? 
Coffee's on. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Oh shit, he jumped out the window! <laughs> Alright, get back here! <laughs> Where's Rusty? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Ooh. Rusty, right? You're right, Cabins. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Hey, Barry. Ow, you can't okay. just go oh, and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I know, like, what, like, what did he? If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out. It's working. Ha -ha, what did Alan? What did Mary. Alan Wake mean well, you by that? Me going there, real funny, Al. You can quit it now. What happened? Buck tooth Charlie. I'm not reading all that. I'm sorry. I ain't reading all that, but I'm happy for you or sorry that happened. Hey, Barry, you gonna eat this plant back here? No, I was saving it for later, but I feel like it may have gone bad. I'll have it. It disappeared, just like Alice. I think this is the form you wanted. <laughs> and here are the Ain't it the way he put that on the table. All set, Mr. Wake. <laughs> Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get the lovers please? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, so you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy... <laughs> Just fucking slaps them. He goes. <laughs> and then. Oh, man. Nice spot, too. <laughs> it's cracking me up right if now. I don't know. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. <laughs> someone someone just said Skyrim <laughs> in no other context. Believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an owl. <laughs> you gave me an owl. Well, I'm going to give you a real owl right now. Boom. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? Ow. We should go to the sheriff. Ow. Call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm <done. laughs> oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. <laughs> Going to Lover's Peak. He said, Oh, come God. Along. Okay, okay. <laughs> I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> <Achoo>! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what the fuck? What is going on? Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. That and feels weird. Hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here. Spores. <laughs> this place isn't the only one trying to kill you. commission. <laughs> You want to know where you can shove that flashlight? Lock the door when I leave. Yeah, yep, yeah, you go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. Haha, <laughs> wah wah. Oh my god, this, the energy of this game is not compatible with my brain tonight. <laughs> I gotta be honest, this might have Real to be funny, a. Sit here in the dark till you come back. What? I just eaten by a groom. I just tested the light switch. What are you talking about? Ha <laughs> ha! Real funny, Alan. <laughs> You're so funny. Where am I going? There we go. Barry was a piece of shit. But I wasn't going to let that get to me. I had to go to Lover's Peak. Here I go. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. I'll... Wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. Oh. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. How can I still hear him? That's not. It's not true. That's not possible. <laughs> Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Well, at least he understands where he's coming from. You gotta have empathy for people. But not chairs. <laughs> I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Elderwood National Park visitors. Ah. Cool. Hello, I'm a visitor. Is this my center? Oh wait, no, the center was that way. Then what is this place? Switch lights? Whoa. I can play Breath of the Wild on this thing. Get it? <laughs> Switch light. Switch light? <laughs> Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deerfest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> uh, no plan, really. Just well, taking the what the fuck? Would... I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Was something out there? Sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? Am I going crazy? <laughs> yes, exactly, Bat. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. 
And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record... Dude, I, I'm not getting any of this. Oh, man. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Maybe it was a bad idea to stream tonight anyway. <laughs> like... Oh, like my brain. I'm my my brain is fucking fried today. Also, I swear to God, I saw something. Yeah, th th this is gonna be a short one. I can already feel it. Like I don't know if I can put a whole like three or four hours into this. Hello. Average normal, real life world behavior. Drop hazard? Sorry. Oh my god. I. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it wasn't even funny that time. <laughs> I had to make sure. <laughs> I mean, here's I the thing I is that. Have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. But I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. I grew up in a family that taught me to be very efficient and very, um... Not wasteful with my belongings. When there's, when there's a hazard, I'm gonna use the whole thing. Can I please tire swing? No! Ah, no! Oh god! The gods! They're angry. They said that's for kids, Alan! But I'm a kid at heart. More like a kid at heart. No! And, and that's... and then he dies. That was the end of the book. It was weird. It got really bad reviews. <laughs> no wonder he's out here. Yeah, he lost his house. Found it. <laughs> the many shall suffer. Boom. Nice try. I already got jump scared by the birds. <laughs> Please, just once. Just let me do it once he clearly wants to do it. Wow, look, nothing. Digital style. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. This is just what I need, a TV show. He's a weird one. 
So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? <laughs> Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. <laughs> well, he must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, he made plans with my wife. Like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you <laughs> bastard. What? Cool. <laughs> you gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Oh, <gasps> no, it was him. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's the mirror. Dun dun dun. Oh, okay. I like. I I I thought the first one was better personally. I thought the moral of that one was a little bit um, a little bit too understated. Um, I need things to be spelled out to me. I mean, that's what I always do with my books. So. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. That's a, that's a lot of... A lot of missing information. No clue what that's about. Figure it out. Not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'll do it from here. Whee! Ow. It was still a bad idea. Ouch! <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> this was no head injury. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Rusty, damn. Rusty hang on. Oh God. I'm coming. Please help me. <laughs> you gotta pick up the pace, man. Come on. Please help. Help me. Hello? Back here. I'm back here. Hey, please help me. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. <laughs> you must. The lights. 
in the office. <laughs> I have the key. Okay. okay You're well, lucid enough to give me a little bit I'll more than back. that, man. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Shh. Good boy. Good boy. I just wanted to analyze his mind. I'm not, I wasn't gonna hurt the dog. I was just getting a read on his brain. I was getting a read of all the things he was thinking about. Let me tell you, a lot of it food related. The door wasn't working. I had to get to the bottom of this, but where to start? Perhaps I could walk outside. The door wasn't working. I had to get to the bottom of this. But where to start? Perhaps I could find the answer outside. I have to head outside. The door wasn't working. I had to get to the bottom of this. But where to start? Perhaps if I went outside, I could find some answers. Sheriff, I'm heading outside to find some answers. probably looks even worse than it feels. While trying to head outside, I realized the door, it wasn't working. What the hell? It was working before. I had to get some answers. Perhaps I could find what I need outside. <laughs> the only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. <laughs> yeah, Rusty, can you please stop fucking chewing the scenery, okay? I'm trying to do a, a joke. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to open this door. Wake reaches a safe haven of light. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Yeah, this flashlight sucks. Can we get the can, can we turn the FOV up on this flashlight? I feel like light bleeds a little bit more than this. <laughs> Are we still hearing the sheriff from the other building? Oh god, I damn it. Uh-oh. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh. Fuck. Uh-oh. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, a manuscript. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid dark. The visitor center was sturdy, <laughs> but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. And then, wait. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The ax splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed ah. as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Okay. This. So. Oh. Whoa. -oh. This is. Oh my god, this is freaking me out. I can't. I can't. I just need hunting licenses. That's true, man. 
Oh, yikes. Oh shit, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like drawn to life mechanics. <laughs> yeah, this really is just like drawn to life. Except written to life. Written to wake. No, oh, why would I do that? I was like, oh, uh, uh, hello? Oh. Oh, they're like traps for me. Kind of. What the hell? Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Is that mammoth-sized? I don't know, man. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. I had to investigate. Please don't feed the animals. Maybe I could find the answer outside. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. The door. Was it locked or was it broken? Either way, it wasn't working. I couldn't get outside. Fishing. Ah. No way. The Park Ranger's instructions at all times. Dude, I was about to get some ammo, man. Must he know? Never. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh my god, I didn't know you were that close to me already. Fuck. I'm sure everything will be normal from here on out. We did it. We saved the town. Now I just need to find out what's up with that door. Hello?
Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Forget about it, Barry. Okay. It's just oh, me. Geez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Out. Be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Hiking. I feel like I'm. Could be missing something. Okay, hold on. We're going towards Lover's Peak, so any anything that's not towards Lover's Peak is bonus. Hey, yeah, I'm glad I came back. Okay. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget uh, what a train wreck his long dead marriage was. Uh, he still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Uh oh, Rusty. <laughs> uh oh. It's okay. We don't have to dwell on that. He's dead now. <laughs> The devs put that in so you wouldn't feel bad. After after every named character kill, they give you a manus manuscript that's like... Ten years ago, James had posted some heinous shit on Twitter. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. You already did the horror sting, and then you did you interrupted your horror sting to do a horror sting. That was extremely inefficient. <laughs> Ow! I wish I still had my shotgun. Where did that go? I, I guess the sheriff took it? Something's not right. The great old one. Ah, Jesus fucking. That's mean. That was so mean. Oh my god. Uh That was really good, but also, like I said, extremely mean. Fuck! Uh. What 
What the hell? Wait, oh, oh, you're throwing them. Okay. Oh, yikes. I'll admit, the combat, really not my favorite part of this game. <laughs> In fact, it's quite the opposite. Not reading all that. I appreciate it, though. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> no, stop. There's another one over there. I'm completely... Oh, wait. It's this way. I realized that because, um... I totally realized there's, like, a little fucking compass minimap thing. <laughs> that I'm sure the game told me about, and I just have never thought to actually properly utilize until this stream. It's my bad. Oh my god, the camera does not help. <laughs> Alan Woke destroys small American town with save wife agenda. Why not just let his wife suffer like the rest of us do? I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. And he's still recovering after playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> I genuinely... I imagine that that is said somewhat jokingly, but you're really not wrong. I, like, my, my brain is fried. I, like, my, my mission to fix my sleep schedule last week while I was taking a break was wholly unsuccessful. Um. Wholly unsuccessful. So I'm still, I'm still, like, in the thick of it. But, uh, you know, I only really had a week or so of, of time that I could, I could buy for... For a break. Oh no, the, the break was absolutely worth it, don't get me wrong. Unless you're talking about the Final Fantasy stream, in which case I would say it was mostly worth it, honestly. I don't I don't mind that I did it. It just uh it wasn't easy. <laughs> 
There you go. Yeah. Well, these guys are kind of... Some of these guys seem new, which is nice. Yikes, man! What am I supposed to do about that? Yeah, the tracksuit dudes look funny. I feel like that combat encounter is a pick two triangle. Um, that that remedy unwisely picked three on. <laughs> Those those three sides, those three corners of the triangle being, um, Alan Wake has extremely an extremely small amount of limited stamina to sprint. Uh, there's a swarm of enemies coming at you. And what was the third one? I had a third one. I can't I can't think of it though. Dude, oh my god. Oh, okay. It's possible to run past them? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that, like, manuscript that we saw was, like, a bit of a hint. Uh, that, like, we should do more running rather than try and pick them all off. <laughs> oh yeah, cuz if I if I make it to the light, which but again, like I don't have much stamina to run. <laughs> I'm already out of stamina. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yahoo, another opportunity. It's genuinely funny when Al gets hit. It feels like too much and too little at the same time. Yeah, like the the intensity of the sound effect is hilarious. Oh, hi. Was that an actual enemy or do they really honestly like try to freak you out like that? Oh no, that definitely, it was just a guy. Oh my God, please. Come on. Come on. All right. Hmm. Gonna figure this out. Woohoo! Progress. Failure is in the end. Failure is just another opportunity to learn. Woohoo! Use your down B, Alan. Okay, so that like stuns them for a second. That's useful. Ooh. <sighs> run, 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 run as fast as you can. Dude, leave me the fuck alone. Okay. Oh, that's something. Dude, for a second, my brain was like, oh, that looks like a, like a dried pineapple. <laughs> like the kind you would eat as like a snack. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all ever had like dry pineapple? Die, you motherfucker! Damn. I really wish I had my flare right about now. Where am I going, man? Oh, this way. The compass, right. <laughs> I forgot. I have tools I can utilize. Oh, 
Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to go that way. This was the way to go. Well then what, huh? Oh, up here, got it. Oh my god, there we go. It was as simple as that. And now I'm sure they can't follow me. Okay, we made it through. That's... I'm learning a little bit more about how the game kind of maybe wants me to play. Um, which will help, for sure. But I, I assume it's going to help in the later streams more than it's going to help during this one. Because I'm... Oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> He's going to get crushed. I couldn't climb up. The gondola was coming my way. Was this the end? It was the most boring ride I had ever been on. Never mind. Why? Why? <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Okay. <gasps> Dead. It's Jim. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. <laughs> the flares will keep the bastards away. <laughs> cool. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we got to move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost well, my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. There was a trash can sitting right here. I was standing on the trash can. The trash can was rolling down the hill. I was doing a funny cartoon fucking log roll kind of thing where it's like the logs in the river and you're standing on top of the rolling on the trash can while it rolls down the hill. He was looking at me. He was disapproving of my behavior. I was having fun. I was on top of the trash can. He was not on top of the trash can, and he wished he was on top of the trash can. The trash can, it was stuck against a tree. I wish I could push the trash can back down so I could roll on the trash can again. He was yelling at me to move. I wasn't moving. He captured his author voice perfectly. He writes all of his books like that. It's the most infuriating thing in the world. But normies love it. Oh, that would have been helpful a few minutes ago. That's what I got for you. Why? Where's my gun? Does he have my gun? Whoa. Whoa, what is going on? I don't I don't get this at all. Oh, he lost his gun in the crash. Okay, that makes sense. I literally, I'm not kidding, I almost forgot that happened. <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot he just fucking story. fell out of a, yeah, out of a gondola move. crash. I lost my gun back there. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> says it. <laughs> oh no, I'm embarrassed, man. I'm so sorry. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He this really was a choice of game tonight. God, it was on the schedule. I thought it was gonna be okay. It's them.
you just become Jim, it would be so great if you learn how to aim. Lover's peak. Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Dude, <laughs> why would you not? Why would you not? You're not going to be using it. You're getting the boards no off. Scare them off. Get some light on those bastards. That'll keep them off us. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Okay. No. It's open. Wait. No. Move oh, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> oh, you feel better now, Wake. All cozy and safe. Yeah, actually. I mean, is that a bad thing? Go, 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 I'm happy now. I feel safe in the light. Is that how it goes? Wow, 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 wow. You gotta give me your gun. Why, like, why is he being an asshole about it? Does he not want me to survive? Like, I don't get it. Could he not also just stand with me? This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them. As oh, as is it? Is it okay the that the flares and the batteries are? Oh, well, okay. Go. They're still talking. Program, Wake. What are you talking about? Can you get this guy? Thank you. Me when I yell and yell and yell. He's a cake, wake, bake, make. Goodbye. 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 Stan. There's more. Oh my god, here. please. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Get the program, Wake. That's not how this goes. Get the program, Wake. Ow. I don't like how mean this guy is. I wish he was nice to me. I've been so nice to him. There's coffee over here. Okay, I'll go. I'll go grab it. <laughs> Damn it! It was a trap. 
The coffee was an Allen trap. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wink. I can't dodge. Get some! Coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah, he's so excited. He really wanted me to grab that coffee. That's right. You're just just shy already gone. Oh. Strange Night indeed, thank you for the sub. The the camera is freaking me out. Really wish it did not. It like starts spinning automatically sometimes when you're doing the flare, and it really sucks. Adore that line delivery. It's a piece of cake, Wake. Don't you see how easy it is? Why aren't you doing this, Wake? She won't give me a fucking gun, man. Not bad. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something <laughs> glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's <laughs> going to suffer bad. Oh, he's a fan. <laughs> he keeps. You gotta stop punching people, man. You gotta quit. Really not doing you any favors. because he thought it held some magical power but i had no manuscript to give him i had to get back to barry and figure out my next move the only magical power i knew that i had were my sick moves at least at the time i could do that all day but it wasn't bringing any monsters to life what was this guy talking about i had to get to the bottom of this maybe i could find some clues outside on more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, 
something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Damn. Oh god, <laughs> I thought I was a goner. Whee. Cool. I saw you, idiot. So mean! I didn't know that was a bear trap! I saw it glowing! I thought it was a fucking collectible! I thought it was a pick up a bowl. I, I know better now. Oh, what's that? Is that a collectible? <laughs> okay. What the fuck, man? Oh my god! Uh, there can't possibly be that many bears in this forest! Either that... Or you... Are going way overkill trying to catch one, my man. Not that I necessarily know proper bear trap form, but that's gotta be excessive, right? Yeah, or maybe it's a bear with like 20 legs. That's, that's a possibility. Sarah didn't care about the legal threats Wake's agent had made. She let Wake go without argument because there was something about him she couldn't quite put her finger on, something that reminded her of her father. She didn't think Wake Well, yeah, you wife. couldn't put your finger then on me. You let me go. The way he waded into Hartman, that hair trigger rage flaring up without warning. You wanted to put your finger on me, you keep me in the same room. Because at that point, you're only like a couple steps away. People just don't fucking understand how the world works, I guess. Play with fire. They're trying to catch the multi bear. Oh my god. Uh, you're absolutely right. Also, thank you for sending me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, probably. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Took it in a bit of a tamer direction. God. I'm just scream. Oh my god, please. Please. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Ah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Stop with the camera. <laughs> It does it, it, it does it to try and, I guess, be, like, cinematic whenever you're... 
taking down multiple dudes at a time with the flare. It is so excessive, though. Down the log. That's right, keep him back. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I don't have any more. Cool, I'm cornered. Oh god. <laughs> Stop! Man, this game is really stressing me out right now. <laughs> like... This is a lot. They're tossing dudes at you like you have an arsenal. I know, they're like fucking throwing like three or four at a time, and especially like in a... in a place as enclosed as this. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> See, man. All right, I'm leaving. What the hell? Okay. See, part of the problem is that they also go up the cool. Great. I. Uh... <clears throat> what in the act? What? I don't have any flares left. Okay. Um, so I should save my flare for that, like, shed encounter. It's not super easy when they throw fucking three, four guys at you right at the start.
No, I'm not gonna do that again. On. Please, please, please. Is it not... Not doing anything? I mean, except it's like... It, they stepped away for a second. I couldn't... <sighs> okay. <clears throat> um... Do I have two flares left? Let's, uh... Come on. Oh! Oh, that's it. Oh my god, okay. Oh! Wait, hold on. I actually wanna... <laughs> cool, okay, so that's what happened before. <laughs> Awful for. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Holy fuck. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That seems like um hold on. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it or symbol, fear of the dark, chainsaw. So is this going to happen in this chapter? I assume. I don't know, man. That fucking sucks. Is there coffee back here? What the hell? Nobody... Nobody keeps an extra incline coffee around? I thought I was normal.
Wasn't this game sponsored by Duracell? Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, weren't the. Yeah, I think a lot of the original game had like actual like battery brands and stuff. It's extremely funny, and I'm so sad I'd it's not in the remaster. Ball. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. That was the shiver. I had never heard my shivers out loud before. My only thought was, well, shiver me timbers. I had to keep going. Maybe I could find some clues outside. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Idea. Stay back, motherfucker, really quick. No! Wrong button! Okay, I totally, I totally understand why Remedy is going, like, full horror with the sequel. But also, man, that's not gonna be good for my, for my little heart. <laughs> Dodge just became impossible at a certain point for me. <laughs> How did I end up doing that one, huh? I really want to understand how, how that one happened. No. They didn't come from this way this time. Ah, oh, man, 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 oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, and oh, and oh, man, and amen, and oh, man. Hmm. Um. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. I really honestly do not know <laughs> if I can go much longer <laughs> tonight. <laughs> like, I want to enjoy this game. Um, I'm not doing so good, and my brain is not in a, in, a, in a state where I am enjoying this game to the fullest. I'm getting really frustrated with it, actually. Um, and so, I, I wanted to at least finish Chapter 2, but I think right now I'm like... Oh man, I just, I don't want to be streaming right now.
I I'm glad I did. You know, I'm 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 not. I don't regret streaming more of this tonight. I don't regret playing more or streaming as late as I did. But it's definitely a case where like I like this just wasn't gonna be the best stream from the get go. I feel like like it, the the writing was on the wall the moment I woke up at nine p.m. Um, but I you know I tried I tried and and at the very least I got a stream on schedule, uh, which is all I really. I'm aiming for right now. I just want to aim for that consistency. I wanted to at least try and you, we gave it a good try. And, and I, I mostly had a good time. I definitely, <clears throat> I don't vibe with this game's combat. And I think the fact that there's so much of it and they, they're starting to throw like so much at me, it feels like, um, it's kind of souring me at the moment. But again, I feel like definitely part of that is just because of how like compromised I am right now. Uh, I'm like, I, it's very hard to focus for me at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna Alan sleep on it. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back next week and, and hopefully I'll be able to do a longer and better one this week for sure. Um, so, or next week, I mean, uh, but yeah, uh, I am excited about tomorrow though, because tomorrow we get to come back to God of War, which I know is going to be a banger uh cuz every God of War stream has just been so fun for me. I'm so excited to play more of that game. So um yeah, tune in tomorrow. If you want to see more of that? Um and uh just thanks for thanks thanks for being patient with me. Thank you for those who waited so long tonight. Again, I I apologize it was so late. Uh that will that will not be the case next time, I hope. Um mm. And uh just take care. Um I'm not going to raid. I kind of just want to get out of here. So uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Uh, please take care. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time regardless of how kind of scrungus -y I was. And uh, I'll see you next week for more Alan Wake and tomorrow for God of War. And then maybe this weekend for something else. We'll see. But for now, good night. Goodbye. Rest up. I'm going to do the same. Bye.